Hello everyone, my name is Om Sagasal. This is Java Programming for Android. In this video, we will learn how to show a message in Android. Okay, this is our previous lesson. If you cannot find my previous lesson, let's go to YouTube and find Om Sagasal uh, Java Programming for Android. You would find that. So there are four ways to display a message in Android. The first one is just a normal text view here. And the uh, the toast, the pop-up one, and the alert dialog, and the pop-up uh, at the bottom, uh, your Android call it snack bar. And another one is log. It means that you don't want to show the message to the world, but maybe you want to test it, and it will appear in Android monitor here. So it's called log, so I will show that. But before that, I suggest you to, um, to like to to increase the font size a little bit because it's better for you if you have like a big font and in here also it's easy to see like a semicolon and the colon so you go to file for windows you go to file and then you will see setting not import settings or export or setting repository it's just settings okay but for mac you go to android studio here and preferences and then you will see the same uh, dialog box here and you can type font here okay you go here so first you go to uh, scheme and then you, you can save as here if you don't uh, save as you cannot change the font and if you prefer like a uh, black one here but I prefer the white uh, background okay and then you can choose the font and for Mac I use Menlo but I'm not sure for Windows but make sure that you can see the L and number one is different because some font has like very similar for example like Courier you will see L and one is very similar it will confuse you in the future and the font I just use 18 for you guys but usually I use 16 for myself this is the, the, the first one that I suggest you to, to change the second one is the line here okay the line number here so you just type line number and then yeah here show line number here so usually there is no check here so you have to check here so and then the last one is auto uh, import so if you are from like Eclipse you will find some um, differences between here and uh, Eclipse Eclipse usually when you use a, like a library class you have to import all the time but here in Android Studio you have to check this then you can have the ability to auto import any um, um, you know library uh, class that you use okay so the, the three things here is very important for you guys as a beginner so now set so if you cannot find this java file it is in the java folder and the first one here so let me close it in case you want to find it from here so here is the java code and here the content main is the layout okay and we will talk more a little bit about the activity but now we focus on this okay okay so uh, in the previous uh, lesson we know how to change this just change here the property so we want to go to Java code okay and then you will see a lot of code here um, it's just a template and you can uh, here you can enter here so the 29 and 30 is the place you want to write your code okay here so um, the first one is toast and you call toast.make text and the first parameter is the, the context um, I will talk a little bit uh, about that in the next video but maybe now just call this it means like you want to use this class as a context 
and you probably see this auto import because you just turn the auto import option on okay so auto uh, here import android widget uh, toast okay and usually it's like this so and then the second one is your message here yeah? so let's say hello android and here is a is the length you want to be a little bit short or a little bit long okay so you don't have to, uh, to type tall length long or length short you just call uh, like this it means that you will get um, the first letter of the here not you don't have to, to type toast because it's very um, intelligent you know exactly what you are looking for okay so it's called toast dot length long it means that you want to show a little bit um, longer and then it will uh, pop out and lastly you call show here okay so it just run and then you will see a message here so let me open it okay you can see that hello android so the real message here is in the middle okay and for now if you don't know anything about this just remember this toast.make text this and your real text here and toast length long or if you want to read it short just um length short and dot show okay that's it and sometimes you don't want to show this message you just want to test it okay for example um, you will declare a variable like integer a for 10 and maybe total a multiply by 2 and then you want to uh, test it is it 20 or not so you call log okay and you can have an option like d or i or e but usually just call d for debug i for information and e for error but this uh, debug is good because uh, not so many message if you choose i will be a lot of uh, verbal message so just call log.d okay and the first one is tag tag it means that it's like it's like a, you know like a key uh, to find your message you will type your, your tag here let's say you call uh, tag om cybersol like this then you will type om cybersol here and you choose the verb here okay and then the next one is your message okay so now you want to show total but here total is uh, an integer so you need uh, to convert it to the string so can simplify it okay but usually when you use log here you should um, use the, the class name it's easier to find if you just like uh, sometimes you call om sagasol sometimes you call a so what is a okay so usually you call uh, main activity like this okay um, or maybe just like main activity tag whatever you want but make sure that it's searchable and sometimes you will uh, use log all the time so you don't want to repeat um, this uh, main activity main activity so usually you declare a final string final is um, like a constant and string with the s here s capital s and it's called tag okay and this is the correct way to do that and you will see a lot of material on the internet they use this way and then here tag okay and then again you can uh, call tag again and then you want to test a okay just uh, an example And remember the Android use Java so it's completely Java it doesn't change at all the Java is still Java except um, you will use more library Android library okay so let's try it so now you have to open the Android uh, monitor here and then you need to change it to main activity this is your tag here okay see that 
if you don't do that you will see a lot of message here yeah? so messy and it's, it's like um, anything is going on here in uh, the building and the compiling it will show you here and I, I think uh, different this world ball is even more yeah this is for error only so if you have some error here but it, it doesn't matter here it's just like the open gl thing it doesn't matter for now and you don't have to care about it so debug here and type the tag name okay so now and um, it's 10 i think it's a right and 20 is total and do you want to show that just for like this so you can run it again if you run it for a second time it's faster okay now you can see a is for 10 and total is for 20. for alert dialog um i think i can show you now but the code will be a lot okay uh, if you came from like c sharp you will be surprised to see uh, the code for uh, you know the same message box in c sharp but here's too many okay let me run this so to show uh, a message box um you know in an android you call it alert dialog you call alert dialog like that and you call builder okay and you can call any name here alert and new alert dialog here and you have to delete this and add with dot and then builder and inside this one you have to give a context and now the context is this the context okay so context means um, any activity that this active uh, uh, alert dialog will attach to okay so you want to attach this alert dialog to this context to this class that's why you call this here okay and now you can uh, you know set any message so let's say message hello android again and you can have a nice title you can call title here and then maybe my title and lastly we call show okay actually you will have a button you know like okay or cancel but for now uh, just to simplify it so this is the, the the code that you need so four lines if i write you know like the okay and cancel button there will be a lot so i, I will skip this so now just run it and you will see a pop-up message here okay you see that so this is the alert dialog and you can press uh, anywhere it will pop out okay for the snack bar is here but there is something else you have to understand is about you here but if you want to test it here if you click on the floating action button this one is called floating action button yeah you will see a message here okay so this is the snack bar but for now i'm not gonna teach you about that because it's a little bit more complicated than this uh, three dialog okay so so to sum up now you learn how to show message by using a simple code and if you want to debug then you can call log.d and if you want to show a message like a pop-up big pop-up message then you can use alert dialog okay so that's it for this video thank you for watching and i hope you like it please don't forget to subscribe to this channel thank you and i will see you in the next video